الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل جاء الحق وذا حق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهقا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي I welcome all brothers and sisters with the Islamic greetings السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته meaning may peace Blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of my today's talk is Media and Islam, War or Peace. So let's analyze today the various strategies used by the media to malign Islam. Number one strategy used by the media to malign Islam is that they pick up black sheep amongst the Muslim community and they portray as though they are exemplary Muslims. We know that they are black sheep in every community whether it be the Muslim community whether it be the Jew community whether it be the Christian community whether it be the Hindu community they are black sheep in every community what does the media do? the media picks up the black sheep amongst the Muslim community and they portray as though they are exemplary Muslims and these black sheep amongst the Muslim community who are not following the Quran, who are not following the Sahih Hadith, who are not following the authentic and correct teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, just a small percentage, and this small percentage, the media picks them up and they portray as though they are exemplary Muslims. All Muslims are like that. Until and unless we Muslims do not clarify these misconceptions, we will be not doing our job. The second strategy used by the media to malign Islam is that they pick up verses from the Quran and they quote out of context and they tell the world that this Quran is teaching violence. What does the media do? The media picks up the verses from the Quran and they quote out of context to destroy the image of Islam. And one such very popular verse usually quoted by the critics and by the media is that wherever you find the kafir, you kill him. And if you open the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 5, there is such a verse which says that wherever you find the kafir, you kill him. But this verse is out of context. To understand the context, you have to read verse number 1 of Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9. When you read from verse number 1, you understand the context that there was a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Mushriks of Makkah. And that peace treaty was unilaterally broken by the Mushriks of Makkah. By the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reaches verse number 2 and gives them a warning and tells them that put things straight in 4 months time or else a declaration of war. And in the battlefield, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Lord's Quran in Surah Tawbah chapter number 9 verse number 5 that wherever you find the kafir, that's the enemy, you kill him. So this verse of the Quran is revealed in the battlefield. But the media quoted out of context as though normally whenever a Muslim sees a non-Muslim, he should kill him. So this verse of the Quran quoted by the media is out of context. Until and unless we Muslims do not clarify these misconceptions, we will be not doing our job. And the best way today to spread Islam in the whole world is by using the media through the media. With this, I conclude my talk. Waqtir al-Da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.